Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Predator 2. What do you know about this? Um, so this is a sequel yes. to Predator <laughs> that we watched a couple months back on the channel. Yeah, excellent. Um, excellent, excellent movie. Um, I've never had more fun watching a bunch of dudes just destroy a jungle with weapons to shoot violently into nothing. And I think, um, so that was my first like introduction to kind of this universe. Yeah. Um, but I, it was also my first introduction to Arnold. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think that was our first Arnold movie that we, it's, we've seen so many at this point, it's hard to remember what was the first one, but I think that was your first real intro into Arnold. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously we've been on like a full Arnold cinematic craze <laughs> adventure, but that movie was fantastic. We did get this movie recommended a ton in the comments um, on the Predator reaction. And I think the only thing that I know is that I believe they said that it is set in Los Angeles. Multiple people did. Yeah, I think in the comments, we, you know, it, it doesn't have Arnold in it. It has Donald Glover, uh, which I don't know if you've seen a lot of Donald Glover movies. Mm, no, I don't think so. And some people you gave us the, the name of like the Predator species. Yes, yeah, so I think it's a uh, Yaucha. Yeah, I think that's how it is, Yaucha. If we're butching that, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm interested. Obviously, I think that the Yaucha is like a crazy like species. Like yeah. what they do with their, you know, their hunting people, they just kind of get dropped off on the planet and they just go for it and they yeah. keep, you know, the souvenirs. Souvenirs, it's a, it's a sport for them practically. Yeah, so I think um, this should be really interesting in Los Angeles. Yeah, a much different setting. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the jungle vibe was very scary because, you know, it's so easy for something to just pop out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting, you know, a predator like on skyscrapers or or what like just destroying cars or something like yeah i don't know i mean he still has this ability to either reflect or it's see through or whatever or whatever you yeah call it. um so i guess really he could be anywhere yeah I, that's true he could still be anywhere <laughs> but it, it is i'm really excited to see the difference that the movie is going to have just with the environment settings yeah being absolutely changed. So yeah, really excited to get into it. Yeah. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. You can also find links to our Twitch, our Instagram, and our Twitter. And with that, let's get into the movie. Well, rated R, nudity, language, violence, perfect. Starting off pretty interesting. Yeah, it sounds like the jungle. Oof, that's smog. I know, right? You can barely see anything. It's 109 degrees. Sounds about right. Eat gunshots. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. This is a full on gunfight. Get another open conflict. Oh, fuck this. Get me out of here. It's a full on war going on mm -hmm. in the streets. Grenade launchers? <laughs> Tony Hope, live with Hardcore. I'm a scene in your face as Colombian and Jamaican drug fiends once oh, again Colombians. on the streets of LA play a martial law! <laughs> it has not been a nice day! <laughs> is she the girl from The Running Man? Oh, I think it is. And where the hell is special weapon? They're still tied up in that shootout in San Pedro. Jeez, it is just chaos. I'm gonna have a chat with these assholes. Give me some cover. Got it. He's gonna have a chat? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a normal chat. Which one's your favorite? Oh man. Kind of forgot that there's a predator watching all of this. <laughs> Jeez, how much ammo do these guys have? A lot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these people. <laughs> he just put cocaine in his wound. Hey, <laughs> Snuck up right behind him. Filled him with lead. 
sounds so much more gross than last time. Secure perimeter, surround building, and wait. We let the bastards get dug in now. We let the level the building to get them out. Yeah, they have a whole arsenal in here. It's so all the time in the world to get prepared. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh man. Man, this movie started at a 10. Oh, oh man. Fred Heights. <laughs> I was not expecting him to already interact with it so quickly. Right. Must be losing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this room has got to be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Oh, like his whole chest. someone you couldn't carry him up there he has a skin yeah well didn't have that much time maybe to skin him what the fuck is going on <laughs> this is not good mike oh wasn't done with him you let me down mike you're making me look bad and all i expect is a little cooperation seemed like he saved the day they clearly know what's going on He's <laughs> <laughs> got a good temper on him. A police van? That's what I was kind of thinking. There's a lot of them. Really? Yeah. That's the first time I just noticed it. Colombian drug gang were apparently ambushed by their bloody rivals, the Jamaican voodoo posse. <laughs> Jamaicans versus Colombians. Place is a mess. Yeah. Let it fly. No way. <laughs> he just shows up in every movie. But we're attempting to prevent King Willie's voodoo gangs from taking over and controlling the entire West Coast. Now, I'm sure we can respect each other's situation and act responsibly. No. Cooperation is my middle name. <sighs> Look out four men armed with machine guns. Maybe we should give him a job. <laughs> Put him in the payroll. <laughs> they could use the help. See that guy there? This guy's Jerry Lambert. And that's the wrong ranger? Yeah, I thought he was here to fix the air conditioning. Everyone is just sweating so much. <laughs> this is what I call a speech, kid. It's the only one I got. I only give it once, so pay attention. I had to bust my ass to get my transfer. There's no room for showboats for anyone looking to prove himself. Now, I won't stand for it. Hey, kid. Welcome to the war. I thought someone was being murdered. <laughs> Are these the Jamaican voodoo? Ooh. You did a pretty good job, man. They're definitely gonna think that other guy. Yeah, the deaths are gonna be similar. This is a message he has for your people. <laughs> oh, they're under attack. Oh! Oh my god! He just has a spear? Oh, that looked like it went into his mouth. Yeah. Man, they cranked up the gore and violence a lot. Yeah, I feel like it was a lot more mystery in the first one. Yeah, this is just... Putting it all out there. Putting it all out there. Extreme violence. Oh. <laughs> I got a job. Your job is to go root for your garbage somewhere else. Been inside. <laughs> Good job, cowboy. All units be advised. Federal officers will handle investigation. We didn't hear that. <laughs> we didn't hear that. They all have pretty sick pistols. <laughs> oh. Put them all up. <sighs> They're Jamaicans. King Willie's boys. Where's the girl? 
Yeah, did she survive? What's she saying? I heard Diablo. The devil came for them. We got a new player in town. Looks like a spear tip or something. You got a big nose, and you're sticking it too far in my business. Next time you cross me, you're gonna turn it missing. Smells like a cover-up! The press has a right to know! Now you get the hell out of here. You guys definitely gonna get it. Yeah. Find out where they take her. These guys are good. Hey, don't worry, Lieutenant. Surveillance is my specialty. Okay, then. <laughs> it's got a lot of specialties. Yeah, everything. She never made it. The feds were waiting. Start a tail on keys. Who knows? You might just get lucky. For luck is my specialty. <laughs> hey, do you mind? My sister. Hey, what? Oh, you're not my sister, are you? <laughs> you're not my sister. What a line. I mean, we know that the government must know based off of Arnold surviving the first one. Oh no, Danny. I wonder if they missed the like the spear tip that was mm. in the in the wall. Yeah. Remember, Danny, no hero shit. Danny boy. <gasps> what? No. Uh oh. Damn it. Aw. I know. He didn't last very long. No. If it were up to the chief. To charge you with Detective Archuleta's death and suspend you. I'm sure he feels super responsible. Danny and I came up together. Fifteen years on the fucking street. Yeah, I mean, you can't expect him to not. Yeah. Shit here. Not with personal. And he's a dead man. Stay the fuck out of my way. We're too close. Mm. That was weird. Yeah. They're too close to what? Like, capturing it or something? Maybe. Update on the scoreboard. Five assorted trash and one good cop. Scoreboard. They've been setting up these weird radar sensors all over downtown. Leon, I want to meet with King Willie. Willie and I seem to have the same problem. Now they want to meet with King? I mean, they do have a common enemy. <laughs> We're complete on the lower UV banks. Ready for testing. I wonder how good their tech is. Can they go up toe to toe with the Predator? They ya ya ucha? Your friend's death was the result of a massive intrusion in the chest cavity. Death was instantaneous. Please do not touch anything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the federal team brought in their own forensic examiners and they've cut me out completely. I pried this from Danny's hands. This is what took him up into the rafters. This material doesn't correspond to anything on the periodic table. And what the hell is that thing? I don't know, but you don't buy it in a hardware store. Not from Earth. Yeah. King will ever see you now. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Go with you. I'll call you later. <laughs> Be chill. <Yeah. laughs> uh, he's trying to be a good partner. <laughs> I think he got his fill of some ganja. You guys really ought to cut down. <laughs> Here's the king. They say you offering me favors. I want some information. Information. I think you know who he is. <laughs> I want him. No killing what can't be killed. You can't see the eyes of the demon. I mean, he's not really wrong. Prepare yourself. Probably didn't help that he got super high on the way there. <laughs> King's in trouble. <laughs> His foundation lied in the holy mountain. Oh. What a transition. Oh. Just making trophy his trophy room? Yeah, just making his trophies. This guy killed Danny, and he's gonna fall. Whoever killed Detective Archuleta 
had recently been in a slaughterhouse. Take the metro along the beach line. I'll pick you up at the Baron station in an hour. Hmm. Yeah. So something's going on in the slaughterhouse. Right. Can you sit still? We'll be back in a few minutes. Great. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not real. Oh, you're lucky, kid. <laughs> He's at a cemetery, so. <laughs> right. Oh. Danny's necklace. It's interesting that it's like toying with him. Mm hmm. Please pretend. This shit never ends. After you. <laughs> Excuse me, police business. You're a little short of cash, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Whoa, get the hell oh. away from me! I know how to use this thing! <gasps> Hold it! <laughs> what the <laughs> Nobody move! <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Thank God everyone's armed. Doesn't matter, this is a slaughter. Jeez. You just can't tell at all what's going on. Hey! Over here! Damn it. Christ, what the fuck are you? Come on, motherfucker! What you can Stopping there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that there was a like place yeah. for them to get off. Yeah, me neither. So dark. It's just always a horror scene after. <gasps> Jesus. Wow. She's pregnant? Yeah. It's got to spare her. Yeah. Leona. Oh. How, how's she doing? Deep shock when she's alive. This woman is pregnant. Let's move. LA County, stat. Yeah, because I mean, it's all about combat. That's why I didn't like kill the kid or. Mm -hmm. Where's Jerry? I don't know. They were all armed. Yeah, all of the civilians that had guns were the ones attacked. Oh man, it was is Jerry's body taken for another trophy? That's what I was thinking. They weren't there anymore. Yeah, some of the bodies were bagged, but not all of them. At least he got a glimpse of it, ripping out his partner's head. Oh. <laughs> he deserved that. That was a long time coming. <laughs> I was even gonna see him at this speed. What the fuck? Oh, these guys. I thought it was the Colombians or the Jamaicans. They found out where they all are. Oh, okay. Just get supercharged. Wonder Don't you show up in the if those outfits are so they can't sense the heat. Ooh, good idea. So they're pretty they much look invisible. They're pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. There's your killer. Wonderful, isn't it? Ten years ago. One of his kind stalked and eliminated an elite special forces crew in Central America. A self-destruct device that destroyed enough rainforest to cover 300 city blocks. So they can't corner it or it's going to blow up L.A. Yeah. So why can't we see him? Defensive adaptations are astounding. It's cool that they're being so open and honest with him now all of a sudden. Mr. Garber, we're picking up something on the pheromone scanners. Seems he has a taste for beef. I didn't think he was vegetarian. <laughs> he hunts by seeing our heat. Block the heat and he's blind. The dust adheres to his body, making him visible. You're not gonna kill his asshole, you're gonna freeze him. But we have to capture him. Oh, no. this is not gonna go well. No, not at all, they're all history. Power up, lights on, let's get him. I feel like they're super prepared. 
And if their intention isn't harm, I wonder if... It'll fight back? Yeah. Like, do they have weapons on them? I feel like if you haven't seen him yet, you're in trouble. Target's still moving, heading towards the number two stairwell. Playing right into it. I don't think so. Wait a minute. It stopped. Oh, wow. I mean, it really can't see him. Yeah. Even their lights aren't emitting any heat. No. Uh oh. Oh, shit. So much for the lights. Yeah. He sees them, Garber. Your boys have been made. Sir, it's circling around behind him. Stop him! Oh, my oh. God. Go fuck yourself. <clears throat> okay. You'll ruin everything! <laughs> fuck yourself! This is it. Oh, man. They're about to be eviscerated. Where is he? Oh, my God. They just lit each other up. They didn't do a single thing other than get slaughtered. Oh, your head is exposed. Oh. <laughs> it's going in locked and loaded. Yeah. Oh. He just killed him anyways. <laughs> yeah, the water's fucking him up. Slightly more even playing field. Oh. Oh. Got that vest on. Yeah, geez, that vest did work. He's got a lot of damage in. I don't feel like he's dead. No. You also gotta make sure he, he didn't arm the bomb. Mm-hmm. Oh, so there goes L.A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still moving. Ugly mother. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, you still got your pistol. What? You're still alive? Guess who's back? <laughs> uh oh. It's between me and him. Okay. Gary Busey didn't survive for too long after coming back. Back on the roof when he's afraid of heights. Yeah, I forgot. It's gonna have to like kick him off the ledge or something. Damn fucking pigeons. Birds. <laughs> Birds. Oh, they're right next to each other. Yeah, go chuck it back at him. Oh. Just straight up tackled them. Show move. Oh no, he's arming. Come on. See you later. Oh. He's still not out. <laughs> yeah, take that with you. Birds and heights. Oh no. It's a little med kit. He doesn't even have his arm though, right? No. <laughs> Just got one arm. What the hell are you making? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. They throw the disc? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking.
like cauterizing his wounds. Mm-hmm. Herb. <laughs> Herb. Herb, wake up. Herb doesn't want to deal with this. He's coming for you. Don't do it, lady. Yeah, just let it go. <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit. <laughs> Back to the heights. Right. Why can't this guy stay on the ground? <laughs> uh oh. Stop. Well, this better stop the floor right above him. Where are you? What the hell? The ship's down here? Trophy room. Is that a xenomorph skull? Oh no! Oh my god, thank god he was holding that. Oh no! You lost it. Yeah. I did not think we'd be seeing a hand to hand knife fight. Right in the gut. Man. Destroyed his detonation device and then just gutted him. Great, where the fuck is he? Just for safe measure. Just, yeah, cut his head off, cut his other arm off. No way. That's not fair. I mean, he won fair and square. I feel like he should get a trophy. Take it. <laughs> Time oh. to get out. They're taking off. <laughs> Man, how's he gonna explain this? <laughs> I mean, there's still a dude, a couple of dudes left in the trailer. Maybe they're here because he looks real crazy. Yeah, there was actual knowledge of this. Right. What the fuck happened in there? Huh? God damn it, we came so close. I mean, it's absolutely not his fault. <laughs> right. Don't worry, asshole. You'll get another chance. <laughs> Just left him. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. All right, that was Predator 2. What'd you think? That was very intense. Yeah, that was much more intense than the first Predator. Yeah, I think there was a, obviously a ton more action and a lot less suspense. I think that's a, a, a good thing. I mean, obviously the first movie, I mean, I knew what it looked like, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of mystery and kind of intrigue of what was going on. And especially the whole big reveal of the Predator was huge right. and all of its powers. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you know, everyone, anyone who's watching Predator 2 knows everything about it. Right. Yeah. So, you know, there's no real cool shock factor in, in anything. So it, it made sense that it just was like full action right away it really was completely different from the first one yeah like the setting just made it completely different being in la and then you know you're dealing with these drug wars going on as well you have like the subways just like kind of it's like the concrete jungle right yeah it's a concrete jungle yeah so it was just it was completely different we had so many familiar faces though yeah. In this film um, that we've seen on the channel for the past few months. Right, yeah. A lot a lot of people were in this movie that I had no idea. That when going in, I knew Donald Glover was in it. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Yeah. So it was cool to see, you know, so many familiar faces kind of come back and, and fight a predator. Right. And, you know, at the end, we kind of saw that there was a lot of them. Yeah. Which we kind of, like, saw in the comment section, like, the... Yeah, yeah, Ucha or something. I'm probably, probably butchering it again. Um, but we, so we know a little bit more, um, nothing spoilery. About the species. About the species yeah. and stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, that was really cool to kind of see their trophy room. And their of, ship, like everything. Yeah, their ship, a bunch of them, you know, their, their sense of honor. Mm -hmm. You know, he, um, 
the predator didn't kill the kid. It didn't kill the pregnant lady. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot her name, but uh, it didn't kill any of the civilians that weren't armed. Right. So it, it really is just combat sport. And they did let him go at the end because he won fair and square. Yeah. And I was like, man, he deserves a trophy just like they did. Uh, so he, you know, threw him that pistol from what, like 1770 16 something? 17, like? Yeah, 17 something. So that's his knowledge alone that they come back, that they'll be back. Yeah, that, that's exactly like when you said, like, you'll get another chance because exactly. they've been here for 300 years or right. something. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Like, there was yeah. just like a lot going on, a lot of action. It was a lot um, gorier than the first one. And I feel like it was because it didn't need that sense of mystery. Yeah, so they had to kind of replace that mystery with something else. So it was, right. you know, they dialed up the, the action and the gore and the violence right. and stuff. Um, but no, it, it really was a lot of fun. You know, it wasn't like it was a bunch of soldiers in the jungle again. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you can't really replicate that that first experience. Right. So I feel like this was a very good second path to go on. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a ton of stuff that I liked. Like... The trophy room. I, I like the cutting back and forth of the trophies of the predator and then the human trophies, right. like with the taxidermy animals and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's very it's kind of the parallels. Yeah, there. the kind of the parallels of, well, there, you know, there's two people hunting. Mm -hmm. And then I do like, you know, like the pistol, the thrown at the end. It was a trophy. I feel like he deserved the, the head. They should have cut off the head and given him the skull. Like that would have been way cooler. Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird because it, I, I mean, was he dead at the end? They picked up his body, they were moving it, so it just kind of seemed like maybe they were gonna save him? I mean, I don't really know. I think he was dead, but yeah. it was a little weird that they didn't give him more of a trophy, or at least a trophy from their species, not just yeah. like, here's a gun back. Which that, all by itself, I feel would be a super cool movie to see, like, people from like the 1700s or whatever fighting a predator yeah. with like what do they have like a musket and like a cannonball and like horses and stuff like that would have been brutal but that yeah. would, that's a cool movie i wish i could see on itself <laughs> but yeah no there was it was really interesting that there was a lot of them there and the ship was there because especially he tried to arm the bomb so it's like would he have blown up like, is their ship strong enough to survive? Probably. I assume so. Yeah. But that was just when I when I saw that there was a bunch of them there, I was like, oh man, he would have blasted all his friends too. Yeah. Just for losing. Yeah. I, I doubt it. Yeah. I'm sure they have some kind of fail safe or... Or they're protected in the ship or something right. like that. Right. So yeah, no, I, I feel like this definitely included a lot of uh, different elements to make it fresh and fun. Uh-huh. And, you know, obviously we liked all the characters... And the scene that I really liked the most was the shootout scene in the subway. In the subway, I yeah, I wanted to comment on it in the moment, but I was like so focused. invested and focused. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'll just say what I wanted to say right after. But then it just immediately kept going, and I was like, shoot, I forgot. But I do want to touch on it because that was a really, really cool action scene. It was. It was. It was so hard to tell what was really happening in detail, but you knew what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really just sucked you in because you were so focused on trying to figure out, like, are they getting out? What's happening? Then, you know, they're stopping the subway. Like, what, like, yeah. where are all these people going? Like, where is this predator? Predator. Like, all of it was just, it was really cool. Yeah, that was a really, I really, really liked that scene. It was yeah. just the, the clever way of kind of, lighting that train scene with you know you got a little glimpses of the lights if they pass through a certain spot in the tunnel or something but a lot of it was being lit by the gunfire mm -hmm. itself right um which that was really so you only could see like the yeah the flash of the muzzles yeah. like oh there it is there it is um so it was just it was really cool it really invested me and that was like a i feel like that was a good heroic last stand for um lone for ranger. the lone ranger cowboy <laughs> whatever you want to say you know because he was there i mean i don't think he did any damage but he stood his ground he saved a bunch of people and he put like quite a few shots into the predator maybe one got through who knows and then he got his skull and, and spine ripped out <laughs> but um but no that was that was my highlight of of the movie was that that action sequence yeah because uh, it, it started off with 
at, at all the random civilians being armed. I'm like, what the heck? Like, why is literally everyone packing heat? That was the first thing I was gonna say too, is that it was just like out of nowhere, like just everybody pulling their guns out. I was like, whoa, especially like all these, like some grannies, like right. everybody was prepared. And everyone. then it just, just massacred. It, no, yeah, that was, that was brutal. <laughs> but it was, it was really, really fun sequence to watch. And just the movie in general too, like there was still a lot of comedy, some like really funny moments in there. And I also appreciated that they carried some stuff over from right. the first one. Mm -hmm. At least they mentioned, you know, uh, is it Arnold's character? I think his name's Duke, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, you know, so they, they mentioned the survivors and that, you know, they- That's the knowledge they gained. That's the knowledge that they gained. And they right. seemed to gain a fair amount. I right. mean, they still got slaughtered, but they understood about its powers and its technologies and developed ways to maybe counteract it and stuff. It wasn't just like, uh, you know, a bunch of LA cops are caught off guard mm -hmm. by something that they don't understand. So I did, I did like that carrying over, even though we didn't get Arnold again to come over and fight, Donald Glover kicked ass. Yeah, absolutely. And it was, I mean, they really did almost have him. Like, obviously they didn't realize the extent of his technology, but you know, for the first good portion of them getting into the slaughterhouse, he could not see them. He could no. not see their lights. Like yeah. if, it, if they would have, listen uh to donald glover's character and turn off the lights mm -hmm. they very well could have captured it right so i i like that that concept that it wasn't just like the humans are so stupidly right outmatched because mm -hmm. in the first movie it's like elite soldiers but they had no chance yeah and they no knowledge no chance they're just <laughs> out in the middle of the jungle like all of it was yeah. just against them but this was it was cool yeah to have that in there and then we got the easter egg of the xenomorph skull yeah the xenomorph skull human yeah. skull was that a dinosaur skull was that like a t-rex yeah skull or something? i was i was kind of thinking the same i mean obviously maybe not a t-rex it was it wasn't maybe big enough but i don't know if that was a it looked like it maybe had a bunch of like eye sockets or something yeah so I, I don't like, know what that a, was so that would be cool if it was a dinosaur because that would that's another sick movie predator versus dinosaur <laughs> So I'd watch Predator versus like, uh, whatever, uh, colonists, yeah, or, colonists something. or something from the 1700s. And I would watch Predator versus Dinosaur. So, I mean, I think there are at least a handful more movies, but I doubt they go in that direction. No, I think the only one that it is is just Predator versus Alien. Yeah. But let me see Predator versus a whole ton of shit. Like that would be, that would be cool. Yeah. I mean, the Yatujas. Yatuja. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yaucha, no, yaucha. Yauchas. Very, it's just a very unique species. Very cool what they can do. The technology, all of it is super interesting. So it's cool that we kind of got to see even more of that yeah. this time. Yeah, we got, we definitely got to see a little bit more of that. And we got to see a little bit more of the, of the common language between the humans and them, which was combat. Not very fair combat because they're super super technology but to a certain level there's some understanding between the two species right uh and we got to see that a lot more than in the first one mm -hmm. uh still they kind of you know pussy out and try to hit us with a bomb whenever they lose so they're pretty sore losers but but still and that was a super funny line when he was like uh your move pussy face or something like that. so there was a lot of comedy in this a lot of great action and I feel like a good progression of the Predator story. Absolutely. Yeah. It was a good sequel. Yeah, for sure. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.